So Monster Hunter WoW is just around the corner and today I'm going to be diving into one of the most exciting new features about the game and that's the sacred. It's a rideable monster that changes how we traverse and hunt. This mounted system is a game changer and I'm going to be breaking down everything you need to know about the sacred so let's get into it. First things first, what is a sacred? On the Monster Hunter official website, Capcom described a sacred as an agile monster with a keen sense of smell, able to guide you to your objectives automatically. You can heal, sharpen your weapon, and even gather materials while riding, making it more than just a form of transportation. It is a travel companion and a hunting partner all in one. So that's pretty cool. The fact that you can do all that while traveling, it makes the Palmute from Monster Hunter Rise look really bad. Now let's talk about the design of the Sacred. It is equipped with a saddle, a bridle, and even a bag that looks like it could hold extra items or gear for camping. Capcom has already confirmed that you can carry a second weapon in the weapon sling, which is an awesome new mechanic. Imagine that you can switch between two main weapons while you're on a hunt. For example, you have a dual blade for fast attack and a great sword for heavy damage. I made a video um, talking about the switch axe and the charge blade those two are pretty versatile already and the fact that you can bring any one of them and another weapon is pretty crazy if you guys want to check out that video it's linked in the description it's a very it's a very good video let's talk a little bit more about the item pouch that i mentioned again it is located on the opposite side of the weapon sling it could just be a design element but what if it's used to carry extra items into the field in previous games we had to travel back to camp to restock but in wilds there's a focus on staying within the environment out in the the world in the action so i don't think they're gonna want us to travel back to the base camp as much as we did in previous games so that pouch might allow us to take more supplies more ammo or even gear with you into the field now let's look at mounted combat and utility so this is where things get really interesting because i'm sure that a lot of you guys think that you can do this but let me clear the ear for you you can attack while riding on your sacred but don't expect it to use it throughout the game as a way of beating monsters Capcom has made it very very clear that mounted attacks are more for luring monsters to certain situations but dealing damage is still best dealt on the ground. Mounted attacks however are confirmed. You can perform dismount attacks basically leaping off your sacred to deal mounting damage similar to the systems that we've seen in previous games. Also you can heal and sharpen while mounted which stirs up a lot of mixed feelings within the community. In older games healing and sharpening mid battle was way risky forcing you to be very very strategic. Some worry that this could make combat too easy. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Is it too easy? Should there be drawbacks? Comment and let me know what you think. Also while I was watching the trailer I noticed that there's this mechanic that allows the player to be picked up in battle mid battle while they're fighting a foe so if you're knocked down I don't know if it's when you're stunned or when you just take too long to get up you can call your mount and he comes in swoop you from out of danger and bring you to you know somewhere where you're a little bit away from the monster. I think that's a good mechanic so you won't have to suffer as much damage as you normally would if you're too close and you're not able to get up as quickly. It might make combat a little bit too easy but maybe they have a timer on how quickly or how frequently you can actually use this. Another cool feature is the customization. Capcom has confirmed that you can change your sacred colors, feather colors to stand out in the field. And personally, I'm hoping that you can do more than just change your feathers. I would like to be able to change the saddle, the gear, and also the equipment. Just like what we did with the Palicas and the Palmutes in previous games. Now the most important thing about our mounts is the traveling. So traveling in Monster Hunter Wilds is on a whole new level. The environments are massive, two to three times larger than in previous games. And it has a ton of verticality. So the sacred's agility is essential for navigating through these landscapes. It can jump, climb, and even glide over areas you wouldn't be able to reach on foot. You can also set your sacred on autopilot. Using its incredible sense of smell, it can guide you to monsters and or objectives. There's even an auto dodge feature while traveling, so you can focus on other tasks like gathering materials, managing your inventory, or preparing for your next hunt. So the sacred is shaping up to be a game changing companion in Monster Hunter Wilds. It's more than just a mount. It's a crucial part of the exploration, combat, and survival in this vast environment of a game. From its customizable design to its utility in hunts, the sacred will definitely have an impact on how we approach each hunt. So what do you think about the sacred? 
Do you like the new features or you're worried it's going to make the game too easy? Let me know in the comment section below and make sure to hit that like button if you're excited about Monster Hunter Wilds. 